Hi guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I would like to share with you how to create a dashboard and to use it for digital signage. So uh, as you can see, I created a special dashboard to show the COVID-19 situation worldwide. And uh, I made it in the Google Data Studio and you can actually have the tutorial on how to do that exactly uh, in the link below. Um, what I want to show you today is more specifically how to integrate it in a playlist. Uh, and use it for digital signage. So here today we're using our Easy CMS player, the Windows version, it's available on our web shop. And uh, for this time, uh, till the end of the June, it's uh, half price. So what we will cover today is RSS feeds, like you can see here. We will cover as well uh, the dashboard, like I just said, and just adding some images and uh, how to use digital signage to inform people with good information and um, local information. Okay, take care, see you in a second. Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial. So I will just show you how to replicate what you've seen on the display in EasyCMS. So just let's jump into it. So I'm in my dashboard now, I will go to layout and uh, I will just go into the layout I created already and I will show you from here. So I just used a full HD layout uh, and I added an embedded widget in which I added the dashboard. I added a picture that you can see here and I added a ticker. Uh, so in the ticker it's the RSS feed. So uh, let's start with the uh, embedded uh, widget. So let's start from the beginning. I will delete this one. Yes. Okay. So I will just add the embedded widget, clicking here and on the line here. Here we go. It's empty now. So I will go to template, HTML to embed. And I will go back to my COVID-19 uh, dashboard here in uh, Google Data Studio. I will go to share and click on the little arrow and go to embed report. And here I will add the resolution, which is 1280p. I will copy to clipboard the code and go back here and simply copy paste. And here I, I have my iframe ready. I will go to uh, general and uh, I will maybe set a duration of 30 seconds if I want to. Here we go. And I save. So now I have my embedded content uh, here, which is ready to, to play. This is the first thing. So here, of course, the preview is not perfect uh, because uh, it's the resolution of this little box is not 1280 by 720. Um, uh, so now I will add my image. So I will go to my library. Here we go. Here, come on. Doesn't want to click. So I will simply use uh, the image here and go to add file and go to um, some image maybe I have here. Here we go. And I will upload it. Ah, I do have already this uh, thing. So I will just use the one from my library and I will add it here. Here we go. So I will change the duration as well, maybe about five seconds. Up. And now it has a ticker. So I will go to the widgets and try to find the ticker. It's here and plug it here. Here we go, ticker, five seconds. So in the ticker, there are a few uh, configurations to do. So first of all, you need to find um, you need to find an RSS feed, which is not, not easy if you want an RSS feed with images. So I found one. Uh, it's not perfect, but it does have some images. So it's already, um, it's already good. So it's uh, this one, it's USR Today Network. You copy paste, you will find much more RSS feeds with no images, but in this case, I wanted to have some images. So note that I copied the link to the RSS feed. I will go to um, configuration and feed URL. I will just simply copy the, uh, the URL of the feed. I will select the number of items. I just want, for example, five items and um, one more thing, I will go to back to general and I say duration is per item and the duration is five seconds or maybe six seconds, for example, and I save. So I will go to template and preset and here I will say I want the image overlaid with a title and I save again. Here we go. And now here I have uh, my 
um, RSS feed, which is previewing with the images. Uh, so everything seems to be okay. I need to do one more thing is effect. I will select fed. It's very important because otherwise everything is uh, like this. Okay. Now what I will do, I will go to the um, preset and I will override the template. I will change a few things. And in the template, I will go to main. Um, and I will change the font size. I will put 72. And you will see here it will be bigger. Perfect. I like that. I will go to the template and I will go to the uh, optional style sheet, I think. And the opacity, I will change to 80. And I save that. And now it's much better for, for, for viewing. Um, it's OK. So now I have my ticker. I have my image and I have my dashboard. I simply click publish layout and I publish it. Of course, I need to make sure that uh, this layout is scheduled on my um, player. So we go to schedule. I will go to display and uh, I can see that here is already added. So it's perfect and it's always playing and I click save. OK, in case it's not added, I simply click add event go to here say always select my layout and that's it really and, it, and it's done so i hope this was interesting for you if you have any questions or any requests for any other tutorial just let me know i will be happy to help if you have any comment please just leave it uh, below thank you very much see you next time take care